Kia ora guys, it is your boy Skyxalux. Welcome back to some more Banjo Kazooie Let's Play. And we are into part 7 of our series now. Now I finished the video off here on our previous video just after finishing Gobi's Valley. Um, we didn't quite open up this world yet, so this is the seventh world. It's a spooky one. I've actually, I've actually forgotten what it's called. So we need to find a picture frame within Gratilda's lair first. So, um, let's let's do that. Let's carry on over this gate over here. And it's funny when I first played this because I thought I was, I think I was really stuck on this part for a while because back then, I mean, I didn't know you had to bust that gate open. I thought there was a switch within Gwintilda's lair that would allow me to um, open it up, but no, apparently not. So, actually, no, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, that's 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 definitely embarrassing. I've gone the wrong way, so what I need to do is go back out of here. I can't go through there until I'm a pumpkin. That's right. So there is a shaman in the next stage. He's going to change me into a pumpkin. Makes sense, being a Halloween kind of stage. Um, so, let's go back up here. Let's go past Gobi's Valley's picture, picture frame. That's there. There it is, Gobi's Valley. Um, now we want to make our way up here. Up there, up here. So we haven't been up here before. There's another note door I need to open. And let's go, let's just get into it. 450, I've got 600. Easy. Easy peasy. Um, scope this place out. Ah, oh, that's right. So, all I'm doing now is swimming. Yeah, it is quite a, it's quite a distance away from the actual level, this one. I guess like they all are. There we go, there is Rusty Bucket Bay, just up there. One of my, definitely one of my least favourite stages. The last, the second to last world on this game. you got Rusty Bucket Bay next, after this Halloween stage, and then you've got Cluck Clock Wood, which is... It's a cool stage, um, but it's also quite hard at sometimes. Now I can hardly see. There's so much blue filter on here. What is up with that? There we go. You can just see it. You can just see this puzzle on the ground over there. That's where we want to be. Oh my gosh! Oh yo! Yo yo yo! There we go, folks. There it is. I'm just gonna get on there. Mad Monster Mansion. <laughs> That's what it's called. My bad. Chuck it all on there. It took 10 pieces from me. Mad Monster Mansion. Alright, now let's, let's just make our way back there now. Let's go. Okay, here we are, guys. We're back at the entrance to the seventh world of Banjo Kazooie Mad Monster Mansion. So, guys, let's go. Now, this is actually Gruntilda's house, according to the Wikipedia page. Now, I I already knew that, but. I kind of just had to make sure. So much photos of her in the house, I was like, nah. So each world, I think, is, is like a, a land of hers, you know? So you had... You had her, like, Clanker's Cavern, you had the shark, that was her... That's her dumb. I don't know about the Treasure Trove Cove. I don't know what that was about. I mean, as always... Try and stick to the parameter of the whole stage first. So I want to collect everything on the stage. Okay, oh, actually I need to come back to that one. Uh, let's just get it over with now, I guess. No! <laughs> make up make up your mind. No, I don't want to do that yet. 
definitely need those. Let's break this fence down. Oh crap, no, I'm the wrong way. Alright, I can't. Not yet. Not yet, that's right. I'll continue continue around this way. I'm sure there's an entrance into it from the other way. No, there's not. Alright. Ah, there it is. Yes, that's what I want. Just make our way. Now the gate should be down here because I can only open it from this side because of the lock. So there's the lock there. So that create a shortcut for us. Um, you know what? I can. I have to come back to this part because I need to be a pumpkin. So what I'll do is I'll just grab these notes here. Oh, almost missed it. Okay, yeah. Again, I can't touch this water because... Well, I actually can't remember. Apparently fog hurts you really bad. Okay, let's continue back up here. And I'll go into that hut that I went past. Actually, what was around here? I definitely want to get up here. Quickly change into my chicken before I slide down. That's right, I call Kazooie chicken. Now, make our way into this hut. To this... This Luigi board looking thing. The occult is real! Okay, so just like the Treasure Trove Cove, um, how I had to, you know, spell Banjo Kazooie, I gotta do the exact same thing on this one. Um, however, I'm just sliding this time. So, if I jump on here... You know, I make Banjo-Kazooie, but I gotta wait for that. I can't get touched by that guy as well, so... There's BA, I need an N. Where's an N? Where's an N? Now, where's the J? Oh. I can't see that ghost, so I'm just waiting. Alright, there he goes. I wonder if this is... no. So banjo. Now K. Okay. Where's my K at? I've forgotten where that was. Oh yeah. Plenty of time. 40 seconds. What is? Remember the A was back here. There we go. Z. Were you at Z? Oh. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, one more O. Is he over there? There he is. N, I, and E. Right on this side. I should be able to get there before that ghost does a lap up. No! Oh my gosh! Here we go. At last, the puzzle's solved. Take this thing I'm leaving, this gloomy shed. That's my voice for it. Deal with it. Right, first puzzle of the stage. Done. Easy. Um, so, let's go back out. Get those three notes there, of course. Um, crack that open. Now, what I want to do is go back to the sprinting shoes that you guys saw. Grab those, because I want to go into that church. And that church contains uh, a few puzzles. It's time though, so lucky I know my sprint shooting moves. I got 14 seconds to get there. So let's go. Just jumping. Six seconds. Come on. I'll oh, get up. Oh my gosh. The camera angle can be so bad. I know these notes spread out across here. Or not. Now these ghosts can only be killed by my um my wing. My invulnerable wing. So 
So I want to collect the notes before I make my way up to that hand playing the piano. Yeah, come at me. Come at me. One more on the other chair to go. Gordon was on the other side, left side. I'm sure there was a Jinjo. No, just honeybees. We make our way out the big grand piano here. To meet this hand who wants me to play a few musical notes for him. Howdy. Molson plays his over with ease. But you can follow him on the keys. Oh, he roams as well. Let's follow him. What's one's first, buddy? You're a bit slow. Yep. Easy is. Easy. Easy as. But now watch me copy this tune and amazed they'll be. And he just goes just as slow as he did on the other one. Oh my gosh, the intenseness is real. The intenseness is real here. Oh my gosh, when is this song? This is, he's a pretty terrible keyboard player, I might say. Like, what kind of tune is that? Music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Oh, mate. The hardest part was just listening to that. Good grief. What a terrible song it is. Alright, what was behind here? Need life. Boom. Puzzle number sec. Puzzle number second. I was just about to say that. Puzzle number two. Good English. Alright, now, there's a flight pad over here. And now I, I want to jump onto that. And that'll allow me to access the roof of this church. We all have lots of goodness. Lots of goodnesses. Well, just, just a witch picture and that will reveal... Yep. Puzzle piece in Grintilda's lair, and I know where that is. I think you should know where that is. Oh my gosh. And another honeycomb piece. Oh, he's coming. And I'll just drop off here. Um, I was meant to just uh, fly before I hit the ground. So. <laughs> So that was a mistake. So that was like so. Church is done. However, there is another puzzle piece on top of it, just outside here. So I'm gonna go up, make my way up and get that, and collect these notes while I'm at it. I want me to go around and jump into this hole. Man, they really put them on the edge. And there should be puzzle number three. Right up there, there it is. Boom. Easy. Alright, let's just jump. Oh, no, no. 
No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, now, again, I wasn't meant to do that. Um, now, for our fourth puzzle, what we want to do... Oh my gosh, I better be really careful. Let's just... I need to be really, really careful. I'm on one life again. Now, for my fourth puzzle, I need to fart. Well, I'll not do that. I need to fart eggs into these pots. And they'll grow some flowers. There we go. This is actually a secret entrance here. I don't know if m most people know about it. It's not too fancy. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those guys. Didn't actually contain that much goodness, really, eh, when you think about it. Oh, okay. Come at me, give me some life. Good on you. Yeah, some of these tombstones come alive, as you saw before. No, no chance. Let's just fart one. Get in there. A little bit closer. You're kidding. Seriously. Oh my gosh. First try. Oh, here we go. Let's just try from here. Maybe I'll have more luck. Yes, I do have more luck. Further away. Thank you. And... again. Gee, it's painful me just watching myself do that. Alright, one more over here. Good grief. Yes, here we go. Puzzle number four. We did it. Alright, now let's make our way this way. Into a maze. Not a very hard maze, I'd say. Oh, there should be a Jinjo in here if I remember correctly. And these guys. Oh, yeah. No, I don't need any more life anymore. Plenty of mumbo skulls around. There we go. Here's our Jinjo. I want to make my way to those notes that I saw there. Oh, this guy's going to chase me. There we go. He's forced me into a corner. I just killed a ghost. Makes no sense at all, but I just killed a ghost. He'll become a... No, what do you become when you're not a ghost? You might have to leave the comments in the comment section below because I have no idea. Okay, I think that is the whole perimeter of the store. Now we can go into this mansion. Gruntilda's very own mansion. Um, but what we want to do is find these... What we want to do is find these um, windows here so we can actually open them. So if you see a if you see a window with a light, that means it can be open. You can break this open. But what we do is we don't want to go in there yet. So I'm gonna check out all the first levels first. So crack this one open. Make sure we don't get hit by those. But get hit by the fire instead. <laughs> Nothing really special in these rooms. Let's just go out. See if there's another one around the side. Oh, actually, I didn't go in the cellar. Let's do that. Oh, 
Oh, here we go, guys. Another stop and swoop item. Done. We'll crack all of these there open. It should be our fifth jiggy. And one of these. You can hear a Jinjo. There it is. Puzzle number four. Or five. Five, okay. Get these notes. Alright, Jinjo should be in there. There it is. Jinjo number three. And, um, what I'll do is start making my way. So I need to climb up here. And here we have another level of the mansion. Again, opening all of these windows. Oh, this bat. Get on my way, bat. Exploring these rooms. Oh my gosh. Now, actually, if you can see under here, there's a honeycomb piece. So what I need to do is come back when I'm a pumpkin. And Mumbo changes me into a pumpkin. And, uh, and grab that because I can't fit under there while I'm a fat bear. So, let's continue getting these notes. And also breaking these windows open. Okay, again I need to come back, um, this is um, a toilet here, I need to actually be flushed down there, disgusting as it is, but too much large fat to fit in Logo's mouth. That is disgusting. There's another stop and swoop item just sitting on top of him. Alright, let's make our way up to the last tier. Oh! You done scoot me over. Alright. Let's open this one here. This must be her room. Yeah, so this is Gruntilda's room here, I think. Oh my gosh. Give me that life back. There you go. No, not our last one. Oh my gosh, that was close. There are one more Jinjo somewhere. Let's go see if there's anything else. Any more notes missing. Let's have a look behind this chest, actually. Oh, okay. I've always wondered if you could open that chest. One? Oh my gosh. There's one more big window around the other side. Here is this. There's our last Jinjo. That's what we're after. Puzzle number six. Life accomplished. Okay, let's jump on that. Man, that was close. What is in this one? Musical notes, sweet. Um, one more note up here. Done. Now we're ready to go inside the main part of the mansion. Did I miss a note over here? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, over there as well. Okay, let's go. Inside, and we're going to drop straight down on the table. Oh, 
Here we go. So if I walk through the front entrance of that door, I actually would have woken him up and you can't actually you can't actually get the puzzle. So that's why I had to drop down um, from the chimney to get to this part. Once I stepped on this floor. Him up. Now, just have a look. No, I think I think that's all. So that is it. That's the mansion part. Now I think I'm ready to go and transform into a pumpkin. Let's go and find our shaman. He's all the way over here. He's got this little entrance. Check around the back, because I'm sure there's always something around the back of him. No. Nope. And he must have some goodies up in his... No, nope. just notes. Alright, how much does he want? He wants 20, I've got plenty. There we go. I'm a pumpkin now. So I can get the rest of the puzzle puzzle pieces in the game. Well, not in the game, but in the stage. So one of them was... What was that? Okay. So one of them was over here. Let's just try and hurry his slow pace up. Here we go. Just want to drop down this well to reveal another puzzle and some notes. Good. Let's make sure there's no other puzzles on it. or musical notes are missing. We've got a puzzle inside here. Puzzle number eight. And now just thinking about it. I'm kinda of wondering where where the other two are. I know there's one... One of them, I need to make my way to the maze, so... Let's go back to the maze. I need to get there. Completely forgotten how. Okay, I've gone around in a big circle. How efficient. I 
has something to do with this maze. Oh my gosh, there it is. Just walked straight past it. What a dumbo. So here we are, we can make our way on top. Right? To these kind of, so I need to go back and get that last honeycomb piece for the stage, right underneath here. There we go. That's all two pieces in this level, and I want to make my way around to the other side and jump into that toilet and get the ninth puzzle. So he wants to flush me down. Go ahead. Disgusting. Oh, the filth! Oh my gosh! And there we go, puzzle number nine. Straight out of this disgusting place. I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, you filthy bear. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe also. And then we want to go right here, folks, and get our last puzzle. Boom, there we go. And that is it. That is... That is 100% for Mad Monster House. Boom, 28 minutes, not too bad. Not one of my best stages. Um, so what we want to do is now go back to where I first started the video. Oh, if I don't... Oh my, oh my gosh. So now that I'm a small pumpkin, I can actually go right down here um, and open up actually just go inside and flip a switch which is going to raise the water temperature in this other place so mumbo's here so i can actually change into the bear strange of him to be here but and it's free um so crack that open oh gosh get out of my way So that's going to raise it up. You, you would notice that. Um, I made my way there to fill in that picture frame. So... Okay, so let's go back out. Um, and what I want to show you guys actually as well, is I remember talking about um, picture picture pages, uh, Gruntilda's spell book, he's hidden around, he's, he, you can only find two of him, you find him twice in the lair, and he, he gives you a cheat to spell, and so you, you go all the way back to Treasure Trove Cove, and you spell that cheat out, um, and uh, it just unlocks more stuff, so let's go see what he gives us at this one, so he's right out here, he's not too far. Just gonna make our way around this thin, thin, thin line here. There's Bruntilda there. And let's go in this little hole here for him. There we go. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain! What did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which last book? Find his bear. And bird are spell they get. We sure do, bag lady. Come on, Book, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you, it will hidden and there other spell books are them you should find okay I take the back there was these three we gotta find three okay three of them okay so let's make our way back to treasure trove cove and spell that out okay so here we are guys we are outside of treasure trove cove sand castle so we're about to go inside and spell the new cheat that we've just got from Cheeto the spell book so what do you want us to spell 
Oh, get out of my way first. There's red feathers. Now this is going to increase our red feathers to a maximum of 100 so we can carry 100 red feathers. Ah, uh, so where's, where's the R? Come on, let's spell it. R, E, Z, F, E, A, T, H, E, R, S. There we go, guys. Now let's take our maximum amount of red feathers that we can carry up to 100. Boom! There we go. It makes me sick. Fly to me. Your butt will kick. But um, I think we need to end the video off of there, guys. We're doing really, really well. Um, but you need to watch the next episode. Um, we don't have to, but um, if you want to keep up to date with my Let's Play series uh, for Banjo Kazooie, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my sister's gaming channel to do that. Um, but otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And as I said, if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to my channel um, to watch um, to watch more gameplays just like this. And I play all these other games as well. Um, but hey, until the next video, guys, from me here in New Zealand, Kakite Anon.